This is the colonial knot. It can be used in hand embroidery anywhere that you would use a French knot. So we're going to start with our thread on the front of the fabric in the shape of a backward C. Lay your needle down on top of the thread and then angle it up so that it goes underneath the thread. Take your working thread up and over and around the needle to make a figure eight and then bring the tip back down next to where you came out but not in the same hole. Then keep a bit of tension on your working thread. Just hold on to that while you pull the thread through. So you pull your needle through slowly and towards the end, let go of the thread. So bring your needle to the front, situate your thread in this backward C, take the needle underneath the thread, then the thread over and under the needle. The needle goes back down into the fabric Keep tension on your working thread, pull through slowly, let go of the working thread, and there's your knot. So again, here's your backward C. Angle the needle up so that it goes under the thread. Take the thread over and under the needle, then back down into the fabric, holding on to the working thread. Pull through slowly, let go, and there's your knot. And again, to the front of the fabric, the backward C, the needle goes up underneath the thread, the thread goes over and then under the needle, and then back down into the fabric, close to where you came out. This one's a little far away, but that's okay. And then pull through. And one more time for good measure. Here's your backward C. The needle goes up underneath the thread. The thread goes over and under the needle. The tip comes down. Hold on to the working thread and pull through. And that is the Colonial Knot. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.